Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Ben here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with another fragrance review. Uh, if you've been following my channel, you know that uh, I'm in the midst of a first impression series that I do. Uh, a friend of mine uh, sent me a box of samples for the second year in a row, actually, uh, a subscriber and friend. And I'll thank you again, Wes. And uh, uh, in this episode, so he sends me a box every uh, every so often, and then I of samples, and I review them. And in this, and I pick them at random each day, and I wear them for a day or two, and then I go ahead and review. Them. So uh, I'm actually getting down there on this particular box, and today's is you can see that uh, Kindred Goods Sea Salt and Fig, which is actually by Old Navy. I originally thought it was it was by Kindred Goods, but it's called Kindred Goods sea salt and fig by Old Navy. So uh, what's interesting about this one is I can only find this in a 30 milliliter bottle, which is uh, a one ounce. So this is a pretty small uh, bottle uh, and it's a cheapie. So uh, this is a 2016 release. Like I said, this is out of Old uh, Old Navy, so I don't really know what the uh, perfumer is. Um, and this is quite linear because if you look on Fragrantica, when they say sea salt and fig, uh, they mean it. In fact, uh, guess how many notes there are. Uh, indeed, there are a whopping two. Uh, so uh, this is a quite linear uh, fragrance. Now, it, what I would say about this, I'm actually a huge fan of Fig. Fig does quite well on my skin, and um, I have a few uh, f uh, Fig fragrances. And so um, I guess I thought originally this would have more Fig in it, uh, but this clearly has more uh, sea salt. The, the Fig is, is, is there, but it really hides behind the scenes. So if you're looking for a fig dominant fragrance, this would not uh, make the cut. If you're looking for more of a sea salt uh, uh, vibe to it, then you would like this. Um, this is, this is, um, this is like, you know, this is clean linen sheets in the summer that have been left out. So like if you imagine for those of you who don't use a dryer, uh, if you've ever smelt, uh, any clothes, but specifically in this case, uh, you know, clean sheets after the washer. You put them out on the line all day on a, on a summer day. You bring them back in, uh, and that's exactly what uh, this smells like. It's very, very summer, fresh-based, uh, you know, uh, aquatic uh, fragrance. And so uh, the, the, the fig is there, but really, really hides in the background, and uh, it, the sea salt is predominant. Uh, now, a couple of things I'll say. Uh, when I imagine this fragrance here, uh, you'll you'll see at the end as far as my my rating uh, system. But um, this is this is a good fragrance. But he, here here's where I see it happening. Uh, this is a fragrance that you would buy to commemorate a special occasion. So let me explain what I mean. If you are looking for kind of an everyday you know, I just want to smell good uh, fragrance. This is not going to make the cut for you. Uh, this is not what you're looking for. Um, if you're looking for, you know, an office exclusive or, you know, a, a date night, it's not going to work that way. Uh, where I envision this uh, is, let's say you're about ready to go on a, on a uh, summer vacation, and which is perfect because we are, uh, this is the day two, three. This is the third day of summer, officially. Um, this is something you would buy on the way to, before, uh, going to the airport to uh, commemorate a, a classic summer vacation. So let's say you were going to go to, you know, Florida, wherever. Uh, you're going to go somewhere sunny, the beach, and you're going to spend two or three, four days. And you just want something, if you're the kind of person that you like to associate uh, a certain fragrance with a certain moment, then, you know, this would be really fun to buy something like this and, and have, and then every time you reach for it in your collection afterwards, it'll bring back that memory of a wonderful summer, sunny uh, vacation. Uh, and that's how I envision it. So uh, it, it's funny because this is kind of in the middle between I would pass on it and I would keep it. Because it is so inexpensive in a small bottle, I would buy this. And I would buy this um, for the reasons I just said. Uh, something like, you know, going to some once in a lifetime or even just once a year a special vacation in the sun. And I would put this on a lot. And then every time I looked at it, I would kind of smile and want to smell it again. 
and it would make me think of, of that wonderful trip. And that's where you would want to go with this. So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and give you the other information, but, I, you know, I mean, that's that's the main thing regardless of anything else. It, for gender, it is marketed towards men and women. Some people on Fragrant for Grantic have said this is clearly masculine. I don't know about that. I don't... Th this doesn't jump out at me as anything. I think is exactly what they say it is, which is for men and women. There's nothing that to suggest femininity or masculinity in marketing terms here for me uh, at, at all. And so uh, this is for anybody age group. This is also it's playful and it's clear, clean, and it's fresh. So I mean, you know, I guess the younger crowd. But if you if you buy it as, in, in terms of your vacation, as I said, this could be for anybody, uh, anytime, anywhere on your summer vacation. So. Uh, I'm not going to really say for age group. I mean, it is youthful, uh, but it's by no means um, exclusively for some sort of you know high schooler first first fragrance kind of thing. It doesn't fall in those lines. Um, this could be for anybody, uh, any time in the sun. Uh, and in fact, if anything, if it suffers from anything, when you first smell this, what really really jumps out is the kind of Tommy Hilfiger for men kind of uh, you know mid '90s uh, fragrances that smell like laundry detergent. So uh, that's the one that comes to mind, the Tommy Hilfiger, but there were many of them that really smelled like laundry detergent in the, in the 90s. And that is, um, if, if, if it were to suffer from anything, I would say it's, it, it doesn't smell modern and it kind of smells dated, like it's had its time, so to speak. Now that's not to detract from it though, in, in, in just in terms of smell. Uh, in fact, if you, if you have no idea what 90s fragrances smell like, you will like this because you don't have that background. Uh, so it's good. It's good. But for those of us who do remember the, those classic uh, laundry detergent scents, uh, this is kind of a, a connection to that for good or for bad. Um, so uh, gen gender, age group, and then I've already said season and occasion, really, because the season, of course, is clearly uh, summer and the occasion is, uh, you know, uh, about 100 degrees. Um, you are on uh, in some sort of resort uh, with a drink with a pink umbrella in your hand. Uh, your cell phone is in the hotel room. You can't be bothered. You are on vacation and you spray this. Uh, and then about a year later, you look at it and, uh, or let's just say six months later, you look at it in the middle of winter and it's like 30 degrees below zero and you check this out in your collection and just kind of smile and it takes you back there again. Uh, that's what sea salt and fig will do for you. Uh, it's also quite expensive too. I think it was like 12, 50, it's less than 20 bucks. Uh, let's just say it that way um, at um, uh, Old Navy. And again, it's uh, you know 30 milliliter, one ounce. So it's a small bottle. So you'll be able to burn through it on vacation. Perfect for traveling. Uh, actually, it's probably what they had in mind. Um, I'll end with uh, the, uh, the overall. And uh, I, w I will say, and also uh, j just a quick note, I almost forgot. Um, the two big ones are, for me, uh, projection and longevity. Now, th as I said, this is, a play this is a playful fragrance meant for a vacation. The, the long it says online that this is an EDP, an Eau de Parfum. I, I don't know how this, I mean, this really smells like an EDT to me. Um, and uh, in fact, their marketing, I wrote it down, so I'm going to read it. Their, mar their marketing is, small sense makes sense. Uh, actually, if that makes sense to you, let me know, because I'm not really sure what small sense makes sense means, other than I guess maybe if they have, maybe the, the, few, the more linear the fragrance is, the more logical, I don't know. You, help me out with that. Um, projection for me was minimal. Uh, clearly within two hours and then in longevity I mean uh, longevity was minimal for me clearly within two hours uh, and projection was just okay uh, I would say projection was moderate uh, within an arm's length is moderate for me so projection will be within an arm's length for and then longevity will be two two and a half no more uh, I'm very surprised this is an EDP um, because you have to really spray a lot of these on your clothes, and if I'm marketing as a summer fragrance, you might not be, you know, wearing anything but, uh, you know, a swimsuit. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not really sure on that one if it, if it truly is an EDP. But uh, longevity was very poor uh, for me, and which is why, I mean, you in this particular fragrance, you uh, proverbially uh, get what you pay for. So, I mean, you're looking at you know uh, less than twenty bucks, and you're looking at uh, having to reapply. In fact, yesterday I applied in the morning, and then around um, one or two after lunch, it was gone, and so I reapplied again, and. Uh, 
that's what you'd be looking at, you know, max uh, three hours, and unless you, you know, sprayed on, on your clothes, uh, hair, etc. Overall, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to, I struggle with this one because I feel like in terms of the fig, I want to give this a three, but, but because, because, because the projection and longevity are, are compromised, I probably have to go two. But I would say this is one of the few times where I, because it's so cheap, I would get this, but for a very particular use. So I'm going to go on, I'm going to be a softy today and I'm going to err on three. We're going to go three out of five for this, uh, just because of the price point. All right, so here we go. Three out of five sprays, uh, kindred goods, sea salt and fig. Here we go. One, two, and three. I'm gonna uh, enjoy this. I will reapply later, and then uh, I'll start another one uh, tomorrow. And uh, I have no idea what it would be because I like to just grab it out of the box uh, uh, randomly. And uh, I will also give it not only a shout out to Wes, but I know he um, has a business that he recently started, and so there's a Facebook page now that he has, and I will include that in the box down below. Uh, so. Uh, if you're into fishing, uh, please take a look at his business. Really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Have a great one.